Yo, yeah, what's up man, it's Devious Flow, bringing you guys another video, glad to be bringing you guys um, this gameplay, we've been head over heels trying to get this video done, my A server wouldn't work, I jammed up just to get these witches going, man, my video wasn't recording, but then I got it to record, it wasn't uploading, I finally got through all of that, me and my boy Chaotic Flow up all night trying to get this done, um, he games Clash of Clans, plays Cold with me as well, um, search him up Dox's Brothers. Solid as plan. But here we go, I'm bringing you guys the footage of the, the new witch. So, what we're looking at 25. Um, oh, this is the upgrade. You can upgrade to level 2. Max is out at level 2, um, which I'm not going to do because I don't want to waste my last kind of gems on that kind of shit. Um, but we're going to get into some gameplay. I'm just going to build the army of witches and giants. Um, I think it would be a good combo just to show what and how they operate. Um, I think this is the best troop to date. Best troop to date. It does 25 damage, doesn't have too much hit points. But reason being I'll let you I'll let us get into the video soon and then we'll find out why this this unit is so beast. Um, but I'm loving it, eh? I'm loving this update, I'm loving this witch um, big time, like very much. So I'm just gonna find a decent loot first before I do an attack as usual. Since I'm kinda of farming, trying to get the rest of those purple wars. Um, so I'm gonna chuck, yeah, I'm gonna take this base on, 100k, I'm gonna spam my giants, I should have spammed them across, it doesn't really matter, and then I'll let these witches go loose, um, as you can see they, they, they bring the dead, which are all these little, like, skull look like, look like goblin kind of things, um, and there's a whole heap of them, there is a whole heap of them, um, the good thing about these things, um, they actually respawn, so when they die, the witch brings them back, brings her heat back, and then they respawn, so they basically keep respawning in front of the witch, which means they kind of act like, um, I suppose, a, a scapegoat, um, a scapegoat for the witches, so defenses like towers, mortars, are going to be attacking these little little skull scapegoats, um, when your witches can just run, run free and destroy whatever they can. Um, the witches do 25 damage, so I'm guessing each one of those little skulls do 25 damage as well. The dead. Um, but man, these witches were just going ham. They were destroying the hell out of everything. Look at this expo. Expos and inferno tails would be nothing to these witches. Because there's so many little, little kind of skulls running around. Little, what do they call them? The dead. Um, running around. They keep being respawned, so. And then on top of that, it looks like the witches are being healed. Not too sure on that, um, I tried to look at it before, but I think it might have just been mortar damage and it looked like it would have been, been healed, but, um, they do a, they do a decent job, look, look at these, this whole time I couldn't stop cracking up, eh, because the defences were trying to get to these witches, there's just no way they can, um, I believe a lot of people are going to be starting to use this, um, these witches, perfect tactic, um, as long as you keep them alive, you're basically gonna be unstoppable. Um, a lot of base changes will have to be changed around designs, um, and then a lot of people will be changing their attack strategies. Um, you'll see a lot more witches, I can tell you that right now, a lot more witches. Um, a few other things in the update. Um, dark Barracks, everyone knows that. Knock down the movable objects with uh, the new Warbreaker. Not too keen on Warbreakers, to be honest. Um, what else have we got here? Top player leaderboards now show the attack one and the defenses one, which is pretty good. You see how those top guys go about it and how they measure up against, I don't know, yourselves or whoever. Um, you can also, what, you can share your battle replays with your clan members. I think that's a pretty cool, pretty cool feature. Um, so as you can see, I'm nearly for three stardom. Um, these witches just go ham. Look at these stupid little scouts. They'll be blowing up there. But wait, there's more, they just, I don't know, it's just the best thing ever. Um, increase Valkyrie attack damage, all levels. Decrease Valkyrie training cost at 1, 2, and 3. Um, and yeah, so if you guys like that, give it a like, um, share it around, do whatever, and I'll bring you guys more videos. So we see you later, finally, yo.